game with it tied up at 21 in the second. Arna J. Ponder, he's going to plunge through a scrum on the goal line. The Mustangs go into the half up 28 to 21. Ponder, he finished with 161 yards and two scores. But in the third, Jacob Calagonis bowls his way into the end zone to knot this game up. The junior chalked up 87 yards and two touchdowns. The Red Raiders do pull ahead in the fourth. Braxton Williams knocks home a 24 yard field goal to give NWC a three point lead. But you can only put down the Stangs offense for so long. Trent Solzman flings it up to Bo Ells with a nice catch right here over the defender. And Morningside's defense buckled down as well. Deion Claiborne swipes the bobbling ball. And we're going the other way, folks. Claiborne's going to take it deep into enemy territory. And Solzman, the offense, capitalized on the turnover. He'll sling it over the middle to Ells. Solzman chalked up 231 yards and four scores. All three of Ells' catches resulted in a touchdown. Northwestern kicks another field goal, but Morningside holds on for the 42-34 victory, a win. The Mustangs knew they'd be tough. Well, we talked about it all week. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs, momentum swings in the game. Uh, our offense just stayed the course, and our defense just battled their butts off. Uh, after that first quarter, they really cleaned a lot of things up. And same thing with us offensively. Uh, we knew if we stayed the course, that things would play out the way we wanted them to. That's great. This is a good team, Northwestern. Uh, they get after it. It's just a big win for us. We had some adversity, and we fought through it. Um, if we want to win an Avs championship, ultimately, we're going to have to fight through some adversity and come out on top. Well, the Mustangs looking to continue their role when they host Concordia next Saturday, while the Red Raiders look to get back on track when they travel to Hastings.